protein allergy malnutrition when we learn this topic we should know certain sub topics under it and some of them are definition prevalence of protein allergy malnutrition how to classify protein allergy malnutrition what are the clinical features what is the treatment of severe acute malnutrition lastly we should know the etiopathology and various theory regarding it and how to assess malnutrition through anthropometry and through some age dependent and age independent criteria so let's go with the definition of protein energy malnutrition as per who malnutrition means there is cellular imbalance between the supply of nutrients and energy and the body's demand for them to ensure growth maintenance and specific functions now undernutrition is a condition where there is inadequate consumption poor absorption or excess loss of nutrients overnutrition is caused by overindulgence or excess intake of specific nutrients the term malnutrition refers to both undernutrition as well as overnutrition so uh, what is the prevalence of malnutrition so protein energy malnutrition affects every fourth child worldwide so it's very very common 150 million are underweight and 180 million are stunted in india 57 million children are undernourished moderate and severe more than 50% of death in 0 to 4 years are associated with malnutrition and median case fatality rate is approximately 23.5% in severe malnutrition reaching to 50% in edematous malnutrition let's see how protein energy malnutrition is classified so there is something called syndromic classification now what does this mean it be, it is based on the clinical features so that it is kwashiorkor nutritional marasmus marasmic kwashiorkor pre kwashiorkor nutritional dwarfing underweight and invisible pem we'll go through each one of them one by one then comes the welcome trust welcome international classification when the weight is between 80% to 60% if it is with edema or without edema if it is with edema it is kwashiorkor if it is without edema it is undernutrition when the weight is less than 60% specifically then with edema it is marasmic kwashiorkor and without edema it is nutritional marasmus here you have to see that marasmus has less percentage of weight compared to kwashiorkor kwashiorkor baby has also loss of nutrients but it is hidden then comes gomez classification so when the weight is 90 to 75% of expected when it is that is first degree when it is 75 to 60% it is second degree and third degree is less than 60% this you have to remember iap classification first second third and fourth degree so you can see the percentage 80 to 71 70 to 61 60 to 51 and less than 50 then comes what water low classification so it is divided into well nourished stunted wasted stunted and wasted so if you see in a well nourished child everything is fine but in stunted child the height is also affected and the weight is also affected in wasted child the height is not affected and the weight uh, weight is affected and in stunted and wasted child both of them are severely affected and then comes who classification it is based on mid upper arm circumference and weight for height ratio less than 3 standard deviation and there is they also see the clinical sign of bilateral edema let's go with kwashiorkor so the term kwashiorkor means on the older children when the next baby is born so what usually happens the mother stops feeding this baby the older child and that's how there is malnutrition in the older child it was first rec- recognized by professor sisley williams in 1933 and uh, later on it was uh, termed as kwashiorkor based on gana language it also means red boy or deposed child because of the skin changes it has so when you have protein deficiency 
uh, and energy is fine so more of protein is a problem protein deficiency malnutrition and commonly occurs in children who are weaned from the mother's breast to a diet which is rich in starch but low in proteins the changes should be identified in early stages only and treated accordingly we should not wait for the typical changes which may be seen in florid kosher core because that will be too late to treat so it's better to treat very very early so what are the features some of the essential features which you should know is marked growth re- retardation remember the growth the weight is less than it is around 60 to 80% so they don't seem very bad but because they are plump kids not like marasmus marasmus looks very much malnourished these babies have edema so they look plump but they are malnourished there are also psychomotor changes wasting of muscles and there is dependent pitting edema if it is not there and the baby is less than 60% weight then it is mas- marasmus we'll come to that so there are certain kosher core has certain mental changes like lethargy apathy they resent examination they don't like examining to be examined and their appetite is poor there is edema because of hy- hypoalbuminemia there is increased capillary permeability and this leads to infection there is free la- radical damage to the cell there are certain hair changes so the hair there is hypopigmentation that is hypochromotrichia so they are very light colored and there is sparseness there can be alopecia there is change in the struct texture usually they are coarse or silky and there is easy pluckability they fall off easily and there is something specific called flag sign where you have alternate dark and light color uh, due to uh, nutritional when there is good nutrition and then there is again no nutrition uh, protein is not given properly so that kind of change is seen and this is flag sign there are certain skin changes like depigmentation hypopigmentation there can be mosaic dermatosis Uh, there can be flecky paint dermatosis and what does that mean it is the classical of this kosher core and it consists of areas of hyperpigmentation and in between there are raw red skin caused by shredding of the superficial skin you can see the picture there is crazy pavement dermatosis that is reticular pigmentation mosaic dermatosis and there is peregra like lesions there is pyoderma and indolent ulcers GI manifestations are in the form of diarrhea because there is mucosal atrophy there are a lot of vitamin and mineral lacking here and that also leads to multiple infections vitamin A protects our respiratory system our digestive system and all of them are lacking we don't have good amount of antibodies because our protein is not there so our immunity is also affected that's why there is multiple infections uh, parasitic infections can also occur there can be enteropathy secondary to anemia and there can be liver enlargement because there is fatty liver since the protein is less liver tries to produce uh, more of lipoproteins and this lead to high fatty liver there is super irritated infections in the form of tuberculosis since your immunity is less and the respiratory system has lost vitamin a zinc bronchopneumonia there can be measles there can be enteritis in the muscle you can see muscle wasting however it can be hidden uh, it can be she- seen more in the shoulder and in the upper arms there can be hypotonia you can see a pot belly due to hypokalemia and muscle wasting there can be hypertonia due to hypomagnesemia and hypocalcemia there can be cardiac changes in the form of ccf because again you don't have there is hypokalemia there is anemia there can be pericardial inf- effusion because of hypoproteinemia when you grade kosher core it is in the grade of 1 2 3 and 4 so first is pedal edema only in the second you have associated with it puffiness of face in the third you have more of edema on the chest wall and the abdomen and in the fourth you have ascites let's come to marasmus so kosher core usually occurs uh, it is it can occur in infancy but it can uh, it usually occurs from 1 to 4 years of age 
but merismus can occur a little earlier even the babies can be merismus having merismus and it means basically wasting so the baby is wasted and the essential feature which you will see is gross wasting of muscles and there is emaciation there is marked stunting and there is no edema the non essential features are again vitamin and mineral deficiency there can be indolent ulcers and sores gi symptoms you will always see this children hungry there can be mucosal atrophy there can be secondary infections here the liver is usually shrunk there can be psychomotor changes in the form of irritability there can be clubbing you can see the child is an old man face with baggy pants and i will show you the picture because the loose skin of the buttock is hanging down you can see here and what are the grades wasting usually starts with the axilla and the groin and the last thing to go in grade 4 is the buccal pad of fat so first thing to go is axilla and groin and when you see baggy pant appearance you have to think of nutritional merismus now how to differentiate this is a small table you need to learn more about it but usually if you see age the merismus which usually present between 0 to 3 years and kosher kor can be after 1 year so it is 1 to 4 years usually kosher kor can actually be hidden because the weight usually is 60 to 80% and the weight of merismus will be less than 60% in the features what we will see is edema is more present in kosher core and wasting is more present in merismus when you see growth retardation in merismus you you see an obvious growth retardation in the form of very small baby but in kosher core you will feel the baby looks very normal because of the edema mental changes are more prominent in kosher core because it is also a psychomotor problem variable features now when you see appetite diarrhea skin changes hair changes however we usually see skin and hair changes more often in kosher core because it is protein related problem the biochemical features now you see serum albumin is low in both more in kosher core now this is urine urea and the ratio uh, urea rest um, urea create ratio it's normal to low in merismus and more in kosher core because it is it represents degradation of protein again this urine hydroxyproline to create ratio this indicates retarded growth and this is more this is seen in both of them what what does you what do you mean by merismic kosher core it has features of both merismus and kosher core so that is merismus merismic kosher core what do you mean by pre kosher core a children who has quite poor nutritional status and certain features of kosher core like hair changes but there is no edema so if you take care at this stage then you will save the child but otherwise it can go to full blown kosher core with edema definitely you can save then as well but here is the point you have to work